Hello YouTube community, welcome again. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna do a little fishing. I'm here right there in uh, Canada Way Creek in uh, Dunkin, New York. Uh, I know the conditions out here, they're, they don't look too well. They're just too low. I was trying to do a little steelhead fishing, but I think it's still too early, but I did see some a bunch of little stockies, so see if I could catch a few of them just for fun. Uh, so stay tuned and then at the end of this video I'll show you what my setup is when I go steelhead fishing. There's a little stocky. Look at that. Mm -mm. Come here, come here buddy. Look at that nice little it's a nice little rainbow um caught them in this little i had to switch because it's not that big well, i caught them on the chin there that is a little jig and a little bead there i personally like to use it um if i were to fish i really like using jigs for steelhead um i haven't had any luck with um exact pattern so i usually like to use a jig but knowing these little stockies here are just small i just went to real size real small little thing they're just bubbling up all over the place here so stay tuned that's my first fish let's see how many i'll catch this is the second fish of the day nice little stocky another one look at that holy cow it's a beautiful steel head looks like a little rainbow look at that look at that color on that look at that just a little guy huh little guy throw him back in second one yeah that looks like a steel head as you can see over there this bridge here I think that's route five so this is where i like to start when i'm fishing here um so you see by that wall up there when i looked up from the top there was at least like i'm pretty sure there's probably 200 little stockies in here these little rainbows that i've been catching i caught already four of them so as you can see right there and that's lake erie back there where that gentleman's at so if you guys are interested i would start down here and then work your way up but the water conditions are lower and clear so not much steel has in here but just a little pointers if you decide to come up here well so that steelhead fishing trip was not the best uh i did see one steelhead and there was a bunch of little stockies i caught four stockies uh as you can see being behind me that is uh lake erie very awesome for walleye never fished for walleye in there but i know this is good for steelhead on this side of the new york so if you're interested uh, let me just show you my setup what i use so first thing i use is just a spinning reel i also have a center pin but i use this here just a nine foot ugly stick um, my setup there is just i use these little uh clear bob uh float bobbers and then uh this uh with a little um swivel as you can see right there and then I have split shot. So I moved the split shot a little bit because it was so low and clear. But usually I spread the split shot all the way down through my floor carbon. And then I use uh, I use jigs. Um, I personally, like I said earlier, I personally like using jigs. Um, just my favorite. I haven't had any luck with beads or egg sac. So, but I like jigs. And when I'm doing a little flow fishing, I also do put a little movement into it. So I make it like bounce up and down. So that's what I like using. Guys, uh, I hope everybody's doing well in their hunting season and fishing. Um, don't forget to the end of this video to subscribe, like, comment. And don't forget to enjoy God's great outdoors through hunting, fishing, hiking, any outdoor activity. Get out there, get connected to your creator.